Hey YouTube, it's TigerMath31, and this is going to be my in the bag video for the 2015 season. So uh, I'll start off with the wedges. Got the uh, Vokey, Titleist Vokey wedges. Got a uh, 50 degree with 8 degrees of bounce. Uh, 54 degree with 11 degrees of bounce. And a 58 degree SM5 with 8 degrees of bounce. And on all three of those, the uh, Dynamic Gold Wedge Flex shafts and the Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 grip. This is the uh, new multi compound grip. And it's a less tapered, meaning that in the light gray area here, it's a little bit fatter. And I just like the feeling of a bigger grip in my hand. Keeps my hands a little quieter and keeps them from flipping over at impact too much. And uh, I have those grips on all of my clubs. And for the irons, I have the Titleist 712 AP2s. This is a pitching wedge. And then here's, a, here's the 6 iron. Really solid irons. Really nice forged club. Great feeling off the club. They're they're oak. They're decently forgiving. Not the most forgiving club out there. You thin one or toe one, they're not going anywhere. But uh, overall, I love them. And I got the uh, Dynamic Gold S300 shafts in these. I tried other shafts like the C tapers and stuff like that, but best numbers with the S300s. And then uh, for my hybrid, I have the Titleist Nine. 13H, 19 degree, set at A1, just standard. And I have the uh, Diamana 82 gram blue board shaft in it. Again, MCC plus four on it. And then as well, next to the hybrid, I also have a three iron. It's a driving iron. It's a Bridgestone J33 with the uh, Aldila NV hybrid shaft, 85 gram stiff. And I don't carry both of these clubs every single round. Depending on the round, I will carry a hybrid or a uh, the three iron. Depends on the course. If it's a tighter, shorter course, I'll go with the three iron because I'll hit this off the team more. If it's a longer course, I'll go with the hybrid. But I love this club a lot. It's decent, it's very forgiving actually, surprisingly. And I can get this about 220. So it's an awesome club to have in the bag. Super reliable if I have to hit a fairway in a pressure situation or anything like that. And for the three wood, Titleist 915F. Brand new pickup here. Only played a couple rounds with it. That is set at A1 as well, neutral. Here it is, 915F. There's the head, the new alignment aid the Titleist has out. And in this, this for the shaft on this club, it's going to be the Diamana 70 gram S Plus stiff shaft. And this club is awesome. It's super hot off the face. It's going to be the best feeling three wood that I've ever hit in my life. And this also has the MCC plus four on it. And for the driver, same driver as last year. Titleist 913D2, 9.5 degrees loft, set at A1, which is standard. The one change in this club, though, is the shaft. I had the DM on a 62 gram uh, stiff shaft. Before this, the blue board. Now I have the uh, graphite design tour AD, and this is going to be the 6S. It's an extra stiff shaft, and this, it's it's just an awesome shaft. Uh, much better ball flight on my on, off the tee, and this one actually just has the regular multi compound with uh, two wraps on it, and that's the uh, platinum blue color. And for the putter, the uh, Scotty Cameron 
Studio Stainless Laguna 2.5 with the uh, blue and white paint fill. Really awesome putter. It's got a nice raw feeling off the face. It's not super soft like a, like an Odyssey or a Ping putter. And I really like just feeling the ball click off the face. And for the grip, I have the uh, Super Stroke 2.0 in blue and white. And yeah, it's just a really solid putter. I've, uh, I've tried looking at new putters, but I just can't seem to get rid of this guy. And just got my just got a towel and some alignment sticks for practicing at the range. So now let's, uh, let's see what we got in the bag. So in this pot, in this pocket here, this is just my ball pocket here. Playing the uh, Titleist Pro V1. That's uh, that's my favorite ball. And then in this pocket right above it. That's where I keep all my tees and divot tools and poker chips and ball markers and such. And then right above that, there's a nice uh, cool, cooler pouch. and put your drink in there. And then right here on the side, it's just miscellaneous. There's a... Uh, got a uh, yardage book in there. And then just uh, a pin sheet. And then the big pouch on the side over here. Open this up. That's where I keep my gloves. Keep them in a plastic bag so they last longer. I, uh, I play the Callaway 2 Authentic the most. It's uh, it's an inexpensive glove. Well, I bought I bought them inexpensive. They were on sale, two for eighteen dollars. So I have ten of those. They're super comfortable. Same material as the uh, Titleist Player's Glove or the Stay Soft, Foot Joy Stay Soft, the uh, Cabretta leather. But I find these to be more durable. And there's also a Stay Soft and a Titleist Player's Glove in there. And then I also got the uh, this is leather pouch. Arbor Town Golf Links, and uh, in here I just keep like my favorite divot tools and stuff like that. I have uh, have my wrench for adjusting my clubs. And, yeah, that's what I that's what I keep in there. Oh, and I also keep sharpies in that black pouch. And then uh, in this little pouch here, it's got a nice felt, so it won't scratch the, your phone or anything like that. Just got a pack of gum in. Just got a pack of gum in there right now, but I. Uh, Usually put my wallet and my keys in there. And uh, this is the Ping E2 golf bag. It's uh, it's fairly light, and I, lo I love the strap system. Super comfortable to wear. Super comfortable to walk in. And it's got a good uh, it's got a good pocket design. It's got a big one up top, two in the middle, and a big one on the bottom. Well, uh, got my shoes. So I got two pairs of shoes. These, the first pair right here, this is the uh, Foot Joy Dry Joys Tour in all white. And it's got like the lizard skin prints there. And it's got a nice spike pattern. There's the little spikes around the, uh, around the big spikes and in between them. So it makes it really grippy. You're never going to slip with this guy. And these are super comfortable. And I also have the FootJoy Dry Joys Tour Casual. And so this shoe I'll wear if I'm walking a lot or just want a black shoe. Uh, these are super comfortable. They're super lightweight and they're uh, spikeless. But the uh, for a spikeless shoe, it has a ton of grip. No problem slipping with this even in wetter conditions. And it's a nice black and maroon colorway there. Yeah, that's uh, those are my clubs, my shoes, and everything in my bag. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for new videos soon.